Hello, Meg Twin here. I just wanted to do a uh, tutorial to show you how I did my hand rig. I need a little bit more control than what I was getting with the rig that I had. And this is the rig that I made or ended up with. I can use this one to put it anywhere I need it. Just gives me a little bit more movement and stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little tutorial showing you how to do that. Alright, first thing I want to do is hide the first one that I've already done so it doesn't get in my way. Wrench to hide that and we'll go on to this one. First thing I want to do in edit mode is to line up all of my bones to make sure that they're straight. So I just select each one and I'm going to go to the scale manipulator and pull it down to make sure they're all straight. They look pretty good. And also when you do yours you want to make sure that you have your fingers bent so that when you do the IK they'll bend up in the in the proper way. I'll move this one up just a little bit more. And this one Okay, that should work. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is put my cursor to the uh, tail end of this one. I'm going to hit Shift S and cursor to selected. I'm going to tab out of there and I'm going to hit Shift A to add a bone. It's a huge bone. <laughs> I'm going to resize it just by pulling down on it or moving so we can see what we're doing. Size it down a bit more. I'm going to put my manipulator to the 3D cursor so I can select this bone in edit mode. Hit R, X, 90. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> R, Y, 90. There we go. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and name this bone. This is going to be finger middle ik dot l okay we got that now I'm going to put the cursor back on this end of the first bone of the finger shift s cursor to selected I'm going to tab out I'm going to shift a to add another bone and I'm going to scale this one down just a little bit. Now put your cursor on the end of this bone. Shift S, cursor to selected. And go back up and choose the tip of this one and hit Shift S, selection, selection the cursor. There we go. I just want to make sure they're lined up with each other. So now I can select this bone, and I'm just going to hit G and Z, so I pull it right straight up in the air over that bone. Okay, and I'm going to name this bone finger, middle, I forgot what I named it, finger, oh, finger, middle, control. L. Okay, there we go. Hit enter. And also, um, switch to pose mode for a minute. That's my first finger, it shows up. I'm going to choose that finger, and I'm going to lock the Y and the Z rotation on those. I want to do that to each one of these so that it only rotates on the X. back into edit mode and wait, let's go back into pose mode I'm going to choose my my middle IK bone I'm going to shift select my first bone in that finger and I'm going to hit shift I to active bone in 
you come over here in your constraint section and change your chain length to 3. That way it'll end right there. Okay, that's good. Now if we take this bone and we move it, it'll move our finger. Okay, let me hit Alt G to put that back. Now let's go back into edit mode. I want to choose this IK, shift select the control, hit control P, keep offset, and then you want to select your control bone, shift select your hand bone, control P, keep offset. Okay, now in pose mode when your hand moves, everybody comes along with it. Okay, we got that. Now we need to... I'm just going to leave that in pose mode. Need to go to another layer. I'm going to hit Shift C to get my cursor to the center and 7 to go to the top view. I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to add a mesh circle and I only need it to be 16 vertices. Tab into uh, edit mode and I'm going to scale this on the Y. Just going to make a shape to use for the um, for the scale. You can make whatever shape you want, some kind of elongated shape. And this is just the shape I'm going to use. You can use whatever shape you want. Alright, I'm going to make it, whoops, select everything. I'm going to make mine a little thinner. There we go. Let me pull this up. Okay. a rotating point to the medium so I can just straighten these out. Okay. So there's my control shape for my finger. Now I'm going to go back into object mode and let's go ahead and name this one. This one is going to be finger scale. Whoops, finger middle. Scale ctrl.l. Okay. Now I'm going to go to another layer and I'm going to add Shift A, add a mesh circle. Should still be on 16. Back into edit mode and I'm going to make this a lot smaller. Then I'm going to hit Shift D, click RX90, hit enter. And I'm going to shift D again, hit left mouse control button to set it, and then I'm going to say rotate Z90, enter. Okay. So now, let me get my manipulator out of the way so you can see what's going on. Now we have this ball type of thing. It's going to be our controller. I'm going to name this finger, middle bend dot L. That should work. 
Okay, now I'm going to, with it selected, I'm going to hit M and move it back to the first layer. Pick the layer you put your other control on and hit M, put it back on the first layer. So let's go back to the first layer. And we can move this one up and over. Now obviously we got to scale that down a bit, quite a bit. Okay, where's the ball I need? Okay, I had to open <laughs> my uh, outliner here to find my bend. It was stuck inside the body, my bend control. So I'm going to move that over the uh, finger we're working on here. Put it right over here. I'm going there so I can see what I'm doing. And I need to scale that way down. Make them any size you want or any shape you want. Okay, this one needs to go over here. And what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to put the point of origin on the ball of that control. So let's go into edit mode. I'm going to choose this and I'm going to hit Shift S. Press it to selected. All right, we'll get out of there. I'm going to go into front view. Um, select my controller. And I'm going to put it right in the center of there. And then I'm going to go over here to the tool panel. I'm going to hit set origin to origin the 3D cursor. That way it's origins at the very end. Okay, so we got that. That's a solid one. Now I want to Okay, let's move this. <laughs> gotta move him to where he should be. Front view. Gotta bring him way down. Alright. He needs to be right there. Okay, so now I'm going to select in pose mode, I'm going to select my finger middle control bone and go into the bone panel by clicking that bone right there. I'm going to move this up so I can see. And if you scroll down to where it says display, there's a custom shape here. And we're going to um, left click on that. And I am going to pick my finger middle, where is it? Finger middle scale. And then for the bone, I'm going to pick finger middle control and then I'm going to hit orient custom shape so now when I hit S to scale it'll move my finger okay now we're going to do similar for the uh, IK so you're going to choose your IK bone in pose mode come over here to custom shape and we're going to choose index bend Control. Whoops, not index. I need my middle finger. Middle bend. There we go. And then for the bone, I'm going to pick finger middle IK. And then I'm going to orient custom shape. Now we can take that one and we can bend the finger. Got to hit Alt D to put that back. So now we can hit R to rotate that finger and we can grab this and we can move it pretty much anywhere we want. Um, 
I think that's everything. I think that's it. It's not that hard. I'm going to hit Alt-G, Alt-R, and Alt-S to put everything back to where it should be. And that's how I'm going to uh, finish up this rig. I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. Um, when you do it, I notice something here. And just because I like all the rotation, my bones to be the same, I want all these with the Z down. I'm going to go ahead and select this, and I'm going to hit Control N, and I'm going to choose Global Negative Z to turn that around. I just like them all to face the same way. It makes it better. I'm going to hit Alt H to bring everything back. In pose mode, there I have my two fingers done, and I can rotate them, and I can grab these and pretty much put them anywhere I need to. I think it makes it a lot better if your character has several weapons he needs to hold and all of them might, might not be the same size, might not have the same handle. So I hope that helps you out. And if it does, please give me a like. Um, you can subscribe if you want, but you need to know ahead of time I don't do that many videos. Um, but it's still nice to have subscribers, that's always nice.